back here again um, on another day this, um, with Perry. Hello, Perry McGee from the National Tracker School. Hello, Gary. How are you doing? Obviously survived the weather. Yeah, yeah, well no, done. that was well bone dry done. yesterday. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Deep um, because you can all do that. Okay. okay, you've got um, a very fascinating piece of kit. This yeah. is yeah, perhaps yeah, yeah. not everybody's bushcrafting yeah. priority. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Um, what we've done as part of the sort of Pro Tracker range uh, of products that we're developing at the moment uh, is we've essentially come up with a, a grappling hook, for want of a better phrase, which is this thing. Um, and it's used for all kinds of things, pulling trees down pulling bushes out, for tying to boats, hanging off cliffs, all everything else. Uh, and essentially it's uh, it's made by the same uh, company as the uh, tools, so that would be scorpion knives and stuff. Yeah. And, and, and from Sheffield, so Sheffield. Good, good quality. Yeah, very, it is good quality stuff, yeah. yeah. Um, it's got uh, a series of holes in it again. These are essentially designed for carabiner use, so rope work yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Any, you know, to, to, it's been tested at the moment in uh, Afghanistan. And we've got um, it on trial with a survival training company. It, essentially, the, the, it's held together with a series of bolts uh, that are tougher. Everything's toughened uh, steel. Uh, but the bolts uh, are all 13 mil and it comes with a spanner. Uh, and the idea is that once you finish with it, you can just under the bolt, put it into a, like a little flat bag, which is in the hot room there. And then uh, it all goes underneath your CD and all that thing. Excellent, excellent quality and strong. Certainly, if you know you're uh, sort of using sort of in the adventure training world, or if you're going out in the bush or whatever, you know, uh, grappling has many, many different uses. Yeah. It has, uh, as you probably especially for expeditions. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. Anybody that's into the outdoor scene, you know, adventure bush, time, absolutely. Yeah. Stuff um, you know, and it does have bonuses of going um, in connection with vehicles like. Uh, Four by four it can be used to tie to the winch, yeah. dropped into the ground, yeah. and the winch will be used. And it had been pretty useful yesterday. Wasn't it? Yeah, you know, there's plenty actually, of money here, guys. We've, we've, <laughs> we've actually had it on trial. I think Monday, whenever he's leaving, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can put this away again. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was just to uh, mention it to you the, the uh, availability. And if anybody wants one, if they drop us a, an email at the uh, National Tracking School, yeah. we, we can arrange for it. Try it out, you know, that kind of stuff. I'd be interested to, to have the views of it. So that we can help develop. Yeah, I mean, one, obviously, you know? there's, there's obviously got uses for military and Very uh, so, law yeah. enforcement where they might need to get over walls. But as I was talking to you the other day, you know, there's fans of journalists in Afghanistan, they have these high walls and they're kind of very soft, sandy stuff. And, you know, if they're, they're not armed, so they can't get involved in the conflict. The only way is for them to escape, and sometimes it's the easiest way is over the wall. You yeah, I know, mean, and uh, something yeah. like this is, I know it's kind of like. Um, might seem kind of quite cons uh, bulky, but they are useful tools. And even in the survival situation, yeah, you can, even if it's just to, as a support as you're pulling yourself up a hill. Yeah, absolutely. Or, yeah. or, or a rock face. Yeah, or a vessel, vehicle, anything like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, they're very much. Uh, ice, again, another one. Yeah, yeah, obviously. it's. Uh, and you say these, these bits here are kind okay, of like back there, yeah. dragging the sand as that's well. That's right, so yeah. It's sandy it's conditions. showing resistance against them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. absolutely right. Um, you're right, the, the original concept was for uh, specialist police and military yeah. units, throwing through shop windows and what I'm saying that kind of stuff. Um, but it actually crosses over into our environment yeah. uh, uh, and uh, uh, it's probably right and proper. You know, people should have I think it's certainly a thing that people should consider though because we, we can we take you know we can quite easily take stuff for granted and think, oh yeah, I've got my knife and that's it, I've got my little survival tin. And you've got, to, you've got to be kind of thinking the environment and the conditions you're in, and you know stuff like this. It, it could well be needed. Yes, there's certainly. a lot of people here with very much um, uh, well kitted out Land Rovers and Range Rovers. And, yeah, know, definitely. Uh, yeah. You know, I, think, I think yeah. I mean, I would say this, wouldn't I? But it's an essential bit of kit for a four by four. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I have. I have. Yeah. Uh, and and the, the ability to have a secure pin to operate. For, Essentially, it's certainly by the like this. Yeah. And if it's additional to other equipment, and and also, of course, is you know, with something like this, you can 
um, anchor it to a point and use that as a uh, the ropes through your gear so you can your hoisting gear up etc. You know, this will just break away when you want it to. You know, anchor point, absolutely, yeah. Boats, hauling bits of wood in, driftwood in from the sea. Bodies, anything, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they, they have conversations in such a place called yeah. Yeah. dredging and things like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's very well. Thank you very much, mate. Once again.